So do you always start in the corners, Philippa? Yeah, you start in the corners and build up. But what you see us doing is what we call buttering it up to the edges. Because when it's at the edges, then you'll see that each piece goes in. It sort of welds up between it welds the pieces. Welds up the it's pointing just to... It's putting the pieces in and what we call shuggling them. Not in the Oxford Dictionary, I dare say. To make, to make it absolutely force the resin into the edges area. If you pick these pieces out, there'll be fairly, fairly little stuff behind them. But the fiberglass, the strength of the fiberglass, is what gives the panel its rigidity once it's set. Force that in. Because it's a very tight fit, there's a certain amount of pushing and shoving to get the pieces to fit in. You've got a lovely shiny eye, the dog. D29 still numbered, all the numbers to be lost for posterity. Pointing out that we're working to a deadline because this resin has a shelf not a life of about an hour and a half, something like that, perhaps a bit less. Mm -hmm. Then it's all got to be in. Well, this is easy, this is easy, but then I've got this complicated slate to arrange, you see. So that's why we're in a hurry to get it done. Have to work in a very concentrated way. Won't answer the phone, won't go to the door. Mm. It depends on Some temperature. Yes. Depends on temperature, depends on the amount of catalyst that Daniel's put in. Whether Daniel puts the right amount, usually. 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 <laughs> you did put catalyst in, didn't you? No, I think so. <laughs> so you do all the terracotta before the slaves? Yeah. That's next to the, the, the vine yeah. thing. I know, I'm just trying to work out how to do it. 